Hey everyone, it's Blake Downport with the Downport Group and Long and Foster bringing you the latest market minute reports and the latest market update. As always, if you click the link below, I will um, provide all the latest market minute reports that Long and Foster generates. Um, it's on every single zip code in the kind of the DC metro area. Um, so it kind of provides uh, a little bit of insight of kind of what's going on in the market as you know, uh, this last one was uh, December to January in comparison to what happened December to January last year. Um, for instance, in Arlington County, um, the active inventory right now is sitting at 148 units, uh, which is down 51% from last year, uh, which means basically there's not that much houses on the market or properties on the market. Uh, the median sales price in Arlington County is 649000 which is up 19% from last time. Um, so there are not that many houses on the market, but they're also selling for much more. Uh, and then days on market is 30 days, which is again down 29% from last time. It's not surprising. You might say 30 days, that seems like a lot, but that's when you're talking about every single property. Most properties now are selling within the first week. Just depends on the property. Also, month supply is at 0.7. What does that mean? That means if we just stop putting active listings on the market, um, the amount of listings would be sold in 0.7 months. So extremely, extremely low inventory. I think that's kind of the moral, and it was kind of like that last month, but the moral of the story this month is there's barely any properties on the market. We are in kind of the winter months, um, but the spring market really has started. I mean, there is so much, there's a huge level of demand, and um, the last month has been really, really tough if you're a buyer, really, really great if you're a seller. Uh, there just aren't that many listings, so when they come on, there's just so much competition, particularly in the Northern Virginia area, uh, particularly Arlington. Um, it's one of the hottest markets uh, overall, but even outside of Arlington, even outside of 495, you know, Herndon, you know, further out, there, there is still a lot of multiple offers if the property is priced well and presented nicely. So what does that mean? Uh, if you're a buyer, um, the spring market's going to start, um, you know, any week now, and it will lead till about June or July. Um, not a, uh, a huge amount of listings are going to come on, but more and more listings are going to come on. It's not going to be like, oh my God, the spring market's here. It's going to be a kind of a trickle effect because, um, just not that many houses are on the market now, and I, I don't really expect that they're going to be much more. Um, obviously, there will be more, but not an abundant amount where there's not multiple offers. Um, in the Northern Virginia area and the DC metro area, it's just going to be honestly competitive. Um, from a selling aspect, you know, it's obviously the flip side of buying. It's a great time to sell. Um, you know, you're going to have your pick a choice of contract if you do the right things and you price it correctly. Um, so definitely a good time to sell. Um, if you're, um, I'm sorry, from a, a buyer's perspective also, when we look at interest rates, um, interest rates are about in the mid threes right now, depending upon uh, the type of loan product, you may be able to get less than that, um, you know, maybe if you're a VA loan, but most of the people that I'm working with are getting around three and a half or so, which is Again, excellent, awesome time to be a buyer because of that, but it's kind of inversely because people can afford a lot more. Um, you know, uh, there's just so many more people out there looking, uh, also with the Amazon effect and things like that, but interest rates are helping spur that, um, which is just making it very tough to get under contract. And that's why we've been really encouraging a lot of people to look off market properties. Uh, we've been going and we kind of been identifying via the tax records, certain communities that um, you know our clients want to be in. And then we, we've been writing personal letters and door knocking uh, to try to find sellers off market. But that's another topic. Um, you know, If you have any interest in that, please let me know. But again, um, if you click the link below, we have all the market reports. And that's kind of the market update as of uh, January, 2019. I expect it to pick up um, in February and March and April, um, but it's still going to be a tough game out there uh, to, you know, to buy a house, to sell a house, other story. Um, you know, you're going to have your pick, but then when you sell your house, you're going to have to buy a house. So um, it's going to be seen on both sides. But that is the market update uh, for this month. If you'd like to learn anything more about the real estate process, click the link below as well because we'll have some real estate tips and other additional information on our website. But thanks for tuning in. Check back next time. Bye-bye.